welcome to RareReviewsGames.com, where I review the best strategy board games. My name's Ray, let's review a game. Council of Verona by Crash Games. A Romeo and Juliet themed card game for 2-5 to five players, ages 13 and up, lasting 15 to 60 minutes. Council of Verona is a part of Crash Games' pub series, which means it has a very small footprint. With only 3-4 to four cards per player and a few tokens, it's very easy to put in a small bag, put it in your pocket, and take out for a game at a pub or waiting for a train or something. In the game, the prince has decided to organize a council to help bring peace to the feuding Montagues and Capulets. Players take turns placing one character card to either the council or into exile. Some cards have agendas. For example, Romeo and Juliet only want to be together. If that agenda is met, then the cards score points. Otherwise, they don't. During their turns, players can place one influence token on any character card with an agenda. The value of the token is hidden from other players. If the character scores at the end of the game, the tokens on it are revealed, and the player whose tokens they are score that many points. The game plays very fast and is a lot of fun. If you only play one round, it's a fantastic filler or warm-up game, but you can also keep a running score and play more rounds if you like. I also really like the artwork. It's crisp and adds some personality. Initially, I thought the game was just about picking and playing the best cards. However, doing so, I quickly found that I had little actual control. Instead, control in this game really comes from manipulating your opponents and bluffing. You have to try to use other players' cards to your benefit, quickly adapt your tactics, and try to gather as much influence as you can in only three or four rounds of gameplay. Even though it's very fast, there's a whole lot of back and forth going on each turn. In addition to agenda cards, there are also action cards, which let you move characters from exile to council or vice versa, swap influence tokens, and such. The move your opponent thought would seal the game is suddenly switched to be in your favor. There can be a huge advantage to going last in this game, which is why the rules suggest playing several rounds of gameplay and everyone having a turn being first and last. Also, I highly recommend playing with the poison and antidote tokens. If a character is poisoned, they are removed from the final scoring. It gives players a lot more options tactic-wise, helps balance the power in turn order, and provides some great end-game surprises. The two-player version of the game is my favorite because it's the quickest and I feel like I have the most control. However, even with more players, it's still a fun game. My favorite memory playing the game is the first time I won. It took me so long, but I finally pulled it off. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more game reviews, how to play videos, and five ways to win videos.